Hello students, Wendy Ansley here, kinesiology professor at College of the Desert. Got a little hero out here just for one minute. Today we're going to dive into a sequence really focused on the hip, primarily hip stability, strength within the hips. And the hips are so important, they're massively weight bearing. It affects our uh, spinal integrity. It affects how we feel the rest of the day. So every once in a while, it's nice to use yo uh, yoga movement to work on strengthening around the joint. So our, our primarily uh, focus today is going to be on hip stability. Say goodbye to little hero. Bye hero baby. And we're going to get started lying on our back. Well, I call this a figure four or modified pigeon. And we're going to start lying on our back and drawing the right ankle to the left knee. And either you're going to clasp around the thigh, you can possibly clasp around the shin here. And, but you're going to, as you push that right foot, you're going to push the right foot into the left knee and really focus on that right knee coming forward. So right away, we're starting with a little bit of a, a release into the hips here, just connecting our body and mind together. So continue to, to push through that right foot and draw that right knee forward. And we'll continue to inhale and exhale through the nose. Go ahead and switch. We're going to draw the left foot to the right knee. And if we cla can, clasp around the belly or the shin here. And draw that left knee kind of forward as we press that left foot into the right knee. So we're releasing that left hip. Beautiful, and we're going to draw both knees to the chest here, and let's lightly clasp around the shins, creating length in the spine. And we're going to draw both knees over to the right here and extend that left arm to the side if we can, trying to release the left shoulder to the ground and really breathe into a release of the upper and middle back here, but also the outer glute, outer hips. Gently come back to center, draw the knees back to center. And guide both knees, I like that to stack them over one another, as we extend our right arm to the side and try to press the right shoulder into the ground as we release the upper and middle back and also kind of outside the right hip. Gently release, come back to center. 
clasp around the shins. Again, just breathe into the lower back here. Breathe evenly into the lower back. Gently, we're going to do a few little rock, spinal rocks here, rocking the spine. And then we're going to try to come up and root and rise, strengthening the hips as we root and rise. Beautiful. We're going to connect to movement a little bit more here. And so we're going to start kind of towards the edge of the mat. We're going to root through the four corners of the feet. Activate those arches, spread those toes, active legs, draw the shoulders down the back. Inhale, we're going to draw both arms up. Clasp around the left wrist, and I want you to shift over to the right. Draw that left shoulder blade back and that right hip forward, tucking the chin in just slightly. Inhale, rise. Clasp around the right wrist, shift over to the left. Right shoulder blade back, left hip forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come into forward fold. We'll do a dynamic forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, tailbone out, shoulders down the back ribs, gaze forward and down. Framing the feet, we're going to step that right leg back. We're going to lower the right knee to the ground. Let's do one or two dynamics. And we're going to keep that left hand on the hip or maybe to the block. You want to use the block or to the ground and draw that right arm up and we're releasing now the right hip the right hip flexor we're going to inhale that's the front of the right hip inhale and exhale through the nose calm the mind breathe into that right hip gently release draw the right hand to the right hip here or to the ground or to the block and draw that left arm up and guess what we're releasing the outer left hip here beautiful the IT band the TFL we're releasing that outer left hip really connecting to the hips in this practice day framing the feet runners pose connect back leg is straight from that left hip. Draw that left leg to hip level. Draw that pinky in a little bit. Rotate that hip forward. Lower into plank. And this is where we encore awakening belly button to the spine. We dome the upper shoulders a little bit, drawing the shoulder blades in. Active legs. Engage the quadriceps. It's a full body but a core awakening exercise, Falakasana. So much energy, so much strength comes from the core. Gently lower to the knees. Knees, chest, and chin all at the ground at the same time, Ashtanga Pranam. Draw the shoulder blades down the back ribs. Send those legs back. Come into easy cobra, shoulders in line with those elbows. Press to the tops of the feet that are hip distance apart. Awaken the lower back. Transition to down dog.
draw the right knee to the chest, to the nose. Place the right foot next to the right hand. Let's do one or two dynamics. Beautiful. Draw that right hand to the hip and that left arm up either to the ground or to the block, and let's sink possibly a little bit lower, releasing the front of that left hip, the beautiful left hip flexor. Gently release. Frame the foot. Connect here, beautiful. Draw that right leg up. Firm that right hip. Firm the left hip. Lower the right leg into Falakasana. Lower knees chest and chin all at the ground at the same time. Transition to easy cobra. Come into down dog. Tailbone back and down, pubis bone back and up. Press through those palms, draw length in the spine. Transition, walk the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Walk those hands over to the left here, either to the block or to the ground. And I want you to kind of press that right hip up a bit. Transition to the other side. Press into the ground and shift that left hip up a bit. Little lateral flexion in our forward fold here. Transition, come forward. Gently bend the knees. Swan dive up, open the chest, open the heart. Exhale, heart centered. Inhale, draw those arms up. Exhale into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Framing the feet, we're going to step that left leg back, lowering the left knee to the ground. And let's sink into low lunge, hands by the heart. Adding a little spinal twist, we're going to shift over to the left, extend those arms from the center of the chest. Hands come back, heart center. Shift over to the right. Extend those arms from the center of the chest. Beautiful open spinal twist. Hands come heart centered, face forward. Frame the foot, come into runner's pose. Sweep that right leg high. Come into Falakasana. Lower knees, chest and chin. All at the ground at the same time. Breathe into the lower back. Gentle, gently release of the entire back here as we Draw the shoulders down the back ribs. Extend those legs back. Inhale, easy cobra. 
Again, shoulders in line with those elbows. Press at the tops of the feet. Transition into down dog. Mindfully draw the left knee to the chest and the nose. Sink into low lunge here. Extend those arms from the center of the chest. And twist to the right here as we extend those arms. Beautiful. Reach towards both walls. Open arm twist. Come back to center. Add a little twist here. Come to center. Frame the foot, runner's pose. Sweep that left leg high. Firm that right hip. Draw that left pinky in. Come back into Falakasana. Again, plank. Again, let's lower knees, chest, chin again. One more time, knees, chest, chin. If we can, some of us are going to lift those back legs up. And if we can, we're going to clasp those hands behind and come into a little shoulder opener. Gently release. Easy Cobra. Exhale, down dog. As we press through those palms, draw length in the spine. Tailbone back and down, pubis bone back and up. Firm those thighs. Inhale, exhale through the nose. Walk the hands and the feet towards one another. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come into forward fold. Gently bend the knees. Swan dive up. Open the chest, open the heart. Exhale, heart centered. Let's face the front. Let's face each other here and let's just come into our intention of our practice. Again, we're diving into hip stability, hip strength, we're taking care of ourselves. And often in the four corners of my mat, it's a time to reflect within. And at this time, I just wanted to share with you that yoga is often, right, an opportunity to build strength within, right? And sometimes we do it in movements that are subtle, but they're engaging and they're challenging. And when we build strength within, that helps us as we live our day and deal with stress and challenges that come our way. So I want you to close your eyes, lower your head to your fingertips. Just reflect upon what it means to build strength within. Knowing that through our breath and efforts today and our postures, we are building strength within to handle stress anxiety, and challenges that come our way.
and open up your eyes. Beautiful. Let's remember that as we get started, as we continue in this practice to build strength within. I love it. Coming to the center of the mat. Awaken those arches, spread those toes. We'll add a little hop here as we come into our prasarita stance here. Beautiful. If we can, we're going to draw that left arm in and clasp above the left shoulder. And if we can, take the left hand to draw the right shoulder and then just shrug those shoulders down the back. Press outer edges of the feet. Root under the big toe mound here as we inhale. Lengthen, exhale, come forward in our prasarita stance here. Beautiful. Wide-legged forward fold here. Beautiful. Continue to press outer edges of the feet. Breathe into the hamstrings but as well as the inner groin. Inhale, belly button to the spine and rise. Cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Draw that right arm in and clasp above the right elbow. Take your right hand to the left elbow and draw the shoulders down the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come forward. Inhale and rise. Cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale. Draw those elbows towards one another. We're going to continue and grow from here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come forward. Hands under the shoulders. Let's adjust your right foot here as we come into Skandasana. And we're going to press outer edge of your left foot that's extended. And we're going to rock forward and back, which is beautiful for ankle mobility. Till eventually, can we press the heel down of that extended leg and eventually get the heel down of this right leg? Skandasana. We'll stay here several breaths. Inhale, exhale through the nose. And maybe let's grow the pose so the right arm comes down and the left arm is up. And we're simply growing the pose, looking up at the left hand. Gently release. Hands come to the center. Adjusting this left foot. Quarter turn it a little bit. And we're going to kind of rock forward and back, forward and back. Till eventually I get, I press that extended leg into the ground and eventually get the heel of the left foot into the ground and beautiful Skandasana. Inhale, create length in the spine. Exhale, melt into the ground and grow the pose. Gently release. Transition, come back into prasarita stance here. Press outer edges of the feet, belly button to the spine. And let's draw those hands forward a little bit. Think belly button to the spine, back is flat as we inhale, root and rise. Adjusting, let's draw the heels in just a bit. Toes come out as we prepare for goddess pose. 
I like to take that thumb and index fingers almost inside the knees, take the tailbone towards the ground, draw length in the spine here as we activate the inner thighs and we'll stay here a while. Find your driste, find your gaze. Activate all the lower legs, but length in the spine. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, root into the ground. Inhale, rise. Heel, toe it in. Cleansing breath. <sighs> Touching on core strength and hip stability. Coming to the edge of the mat. Inhale, draw those arms up. Exhale, come into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Framing the feet, we're going to step back into Phalakasana here. Good, engaging the core, doming the upper back a bit. Coming into Vasitasana side blank, I'm going to draw my right hand in just a couple inches, only an inch or two. I'm going to press outer edges of my right foot. My feet are together and flexed, or I can make it easier and make a little kickstand approach here with that left foot. But if I can, I'm going to stack both feet. Now this is where we lift that right hip. The shoulders are stacked over one another. We lift, we lift that right hip. Integrity in the hips, in the core, in the shoulders. Beautiful Vasi Tasana. Transition into Phalakasana. Plank. Draw the left hand in a few inches. Press outer edge of the left foot. Either take the right foot down as like a kickstand approach to make it easier or stack the feet and this is where we want to lift lift that left hip lift it up lift up beautiful you either can gaze straight ahead or you can gaze up shoulders stacked over one another core hip integrity Transition to Phalakasana, plank. Beautiful. Gently lower to the knees. Let's come to our first wide-legged child's pose. Big toes touching, wide in the knees. Make room for the torso. Let's press and extend those arms, press into the palms. Draw length in the spine, hips towards those heels, and we'll stay here a while. Come back to all fours. And this is where, let's take the hands together here and just kind of 
rock forward and back here a little bit. So the hands are touching. The fingers are coming towards us and we're just rocking forward and back, kind of preparing our wrists for our practice. Many of you will rock forward and back and some of you, if you can, you're gonna take the knees together here and press into a down dog where the feet come together Hands touch, beautiful wrist work here. Gently lower. Circle those hands. Come back to our neutral tabletop. Walk the hands forward a few inches. Lead with those hips and come into down dog. Tailbone back and down, pubis bone back and up. Walk the hands and the feet towards each other. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come into forward fold. Breathe into those hamstrings. Gently bend the knees. Swan dive up, open the chest, open the heart. Exhale, heart centered. When I think of building strength within, I think of my balance postures. And we're gonna take one of our blocks and we're gonna come into tree pose, which seems like a simple pose, but it's very profound and very challenging. And it strengthens that entire leg and it stabilizes the leg. So it's, it's pretty incredible. We're gonna take the block, especially when you really dive into it. And you're, you're gonna put your right leg on, on the block and the outer and the uh, toes will hang off the side. And I want you to draw that femur head in of that right hip. Beginners can keep the foot down lower or we can guide it and place it up high. We just don't wanna place it directly onto the kneecap and push it out in that direction. This is where we're gonna level the pelvis. So we're gonna draw the femur head in and we wanna engage the inner thigh almost, press the foot into the thigh, the thigh into the foot to almost draw that femur head in. And then we take that bent leg and abduct it slightly to the side to level the pelvis as we strengthen the outer glute medius here, our abductors. Find our balance. We can keep the hands heart centered or we can draw those arms up. Continue to root through the four corners of the foot. Gently release. Set the foot down, beautiful. <sighs> Cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> beautiful. Rooting through, and this is, I love the block because it engages, it almost activates the balance a little bit more. Rooting through the left foot, we're gonna have the toes off the edge, and this is engaging the intrinsic muscles of the foot. We're gonna draw that left femur head in. We can keep the foot low as we find our balance, or we can guide it a little bit higher. Beautiful. Finding our balance, drawing that femur head in, abducting that bent knee to the side, but engage the inner thigh, almost push into that foot to level the pelvis. Gaze forward. We can gaze those arms up, behind. Whoa, find that balance. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come down. I'm going to get back into it a little bit. I heard that hammer coming. Oh. 
finding our strength within. Come out of the tree the same way we came into the tree. Cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale. I like to shake and come out of a pose. It teaches me I'm human, right? But it gets me to my mat and my own practice as I'm falling quite, a, quite often as I really, really challenge myself. Beautiful, beautiful. Purvotanasana. Purvotanasana is an incline plank. We're going to strengthen the wrists, the shoulders, and the hips as we come into Purvotanasana. Inhale, we draw those arms up. Exhale, we come into forward fold. Inhale, we're going to releve up. Coming into our form of Malasana here. We're going to gently lower the ankles, knees, and chins, lower the hips. And we're just going to connect here. Just connect, reflecting within, building strength. I like to draw my hands back and think about drawing my head towards my knees. Beautiful. Gently lower to the heels as we work on this transition. Purvotanasana. Incline plank. We're going to come into Dandasana where we're rooting through the sitting bones, drawing length in the spine. We're going to draw those hands back a few inches. I can already feel my shoulder blades start to come towards one another, my scapula. Inhale, we're going to draw length. Exhale, we're, let's draw those heels towards us and let's press into tabletop. This is where the shoulders come towards one another. Sacrum, I want you to lift those hips. Sacrum comes to the knees and we broaden the collarbones. Many of us will stay here. Some of us will extend those legs, press through those inner arches, lift those hips, broaden the collarbones. Gently release. We're going to root and rise. Inhale, rise. Cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Coming to the edge, kind of top edges of our mat here. Inhale, we're going to draw those arms up, energy out the fingertips. Exhale, swan dive down into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, tailbone out and back. Framing the feet, we're going to step back into down dog. Beautiful down dog. Tailbone back and down, pubis bone back and up. We're going to lift that left leg to hip level. Firm that right hip. Draw that left pinky in. On the exhale, we're drawing the left knee to the chest, to the nose, placing the left foot next to the left hand. And we're going to adjust that back foot 45 to 60 degrees, preparing for Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. We're not just going to float up to Warrior 1. We're going to root into the ground. We're going to begin to engage and stabilize those hips as we slowly press into the ground, root and rise. As we draw, press outer edge of the right foot, we draw that right hip forward and we think about that left hip coming back. We'll stay here a while, shoulders down the back, gauging forward. Strong hips. Framing the foot. We'll come into our first vinyasa if we can. We can come into plank. Beginners can hold plank. They can come into down dog. They can lower to their knees, partial chaturanga. Or we can come into chaturanga where we bend those elbows, 
draw them close to the side, sternum forward. And how beautiful up dog, press through the tops of the feet. Draw the pelvis. Exhale, down dog. Draw that right leg to hip level. Inhale, create length. Exhale, draw the right knee to the chest, to the nose. Place the right foot next to the right hand. And this is where I want you to press outer edge of the left foot. Root with both feet into the ground. Stabilize even that right hip, left hip. Stabilize. Inhale, root into the ground as we come into Virabhadrasana. Warrior one, right knee points straight ahead over the toes. Continue to draw that left hip forward, right hip back. Shoulders down the back. Find your driste. Find your gaze. Belly button to the spine. Frame the foot. Come into plank. Come forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Tailbone back and down, pubis bone back and up. Transition, we're going to walk it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Gently bend the knees. Open the chest, open the heart. Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Connecting just to the core a little bit more. Core stability, core strength. Inhale, draw those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Releve up. Ankles, knees, and shins together as we prepare for malasana again. Lower ankles, knees, and shins. Drop those hips. Hips towards those heels. Walk those hands back. Head close to the knees. Lower the heels to the ground as we prepare for Navasana boat pose. Beginners can keep the legs parallel to the ground, hands onto the ground. More advanced, we can begin to straighten those legs. Energy out the balls of the feet, out the fingers. Navasana, boat pose. This strengthens the psoas. This is a little bit about hip stability. Strong hips, strong core. We're all connected. We'll stay here a while. Beautiful Navasana. Gently release, root and rise. Cleansing breath, inhale, exhale, beautiful. Taking the blocks here, I'm gonna move my back, not back, just a couple inches. Taking the blocks, we're going to bring them, we're gonna to touch on hip stability and we're gonna take the blocks and have them as a prop here. They're going to be about shoulder width apart here. Beautiful. And we're, we're building strength, we're connecting within hip stability. So we're just a few inches away from the blocks. The blocks are set up about 
shoulder width distance apart here. Inhale, draw those arms up, energy out the fingers. Exhale, swan dive down, come into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk the hand, we're gonna frame the feet with the hands here, and we're gonna walk the legs back into down dog. Beautiful down dog. On the inhale, we're gonna draw that left leg up to about hip level. On the exhale, we're drawing the left knee to the chest, to the nose. Runner's pose. We're still going to connect here. The back heel is lifted as we prepare for crescent moon. Root under that front foot. Come into beautiful crescent moon. Knee points straight ahead. Connect to that back leg and straighten that back leg. Draw the quadricep to the bone. Stability and strength. Drawing the hands heart centered. We're gonna, we're gonna come forward, but almost spring off that back leg. Hands to the blocks, and I want us to level that back hip. Rotate the pinky down, firm that left hip. So we're in Virabhadrasana three, warrior three, hip stability almost at its finest here. Firm that left hip with the inner and outer thighs here. Toes, right extended leg towards, toes towards that ground, level the pelvis. Gaze forward and down. Gently bend the left knee, draw the right leg to meet it as we prepare in powerful chair. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale, arms up. Tailbone back and down, length in the spine. Engage the legs, outer leg muscles, inner leg muscles. Beautiful chair. On the exhale, we're coming back heart centered. We're preparing for crescent moon again. Arms up, inhale, arms up. On the exhale, hands kind of come heart center. We're engaging the glutes here, drawing that back leg up. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Transition back to crescent moon. Transition, chair pose. Draw length in the spine, engage outer and inner legs. Transition. Back to crescent moon. Frame the foot. Vinyasa flow, whatever we want to do. Plank, down dog, chaturanga, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Transition, walk the hands and the feet towards one another. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Gently bend the knees, swan dive up, open the chest. Open the heart. Exhale, heart centered. Beautiful. Cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. 
Exhale through the mouth. That was challenging and we're going to do this again. And again, often, sometimes we come on our mats and it's a different type of a work. It's a work within. And this is an opportunity to build strength, stability around the hip, and to, to improve our health, really. Improve our health and how, how we move and how we feel. Inhale, draw those arms up. Exhale, come into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk those hands back. Transition back to down dog. Lift that right leg to hip level. Draw the right knee to the chest, to the nose. Place the right foot next to the right hand. Inhale, Virabhadrasana. I mean, not Virabhadrasana, but Crescent Moon. Right hip back, left hip forward. The back heel is lifted. Beautiful, beautiful crescent moon. Find your balance. Find your strength. Hands come heart center. We begin to kind of shift forward, engaging that right glute, but using the back leg to spring forward as we place the hands to the ground to help us with Virabhadrasana 3, hip stability, firm that right hip, engage both the outer but inner leg, rotate that back hip down, toes towards the ground, find our stability, gaze forward and down. Bend the right leg, take the left leg to meet it. Come into Utkatasana. Engage the legs, length in the spine, gaze up. Hands heart centered. Take that left leg back, come into Crescent Moon. Firm that right hip. Hands heart centered. Transition to Utkatasana, chair pose. Engage all the leg muscles. Tailbone back and down. Look up. Transition back to crescent moon. Transition, come to Utkatasana. Draw length in the spine. Transition, back to Crescent Moon. Frame the foot, whatever your flow is. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Tailbone back and down, pubis bone back and up. Let's walk the hands and the feet towards one another. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Gently bend the knees. Swan dive up. Open the chest. Open the heart. Exhale, heart centered. So we've done a lot of hip stability, a lot of hip work in a unique way, really, in a unique and different way. Yoga truly is beautiful movement. Let's see, we're gonna lie 
on our backs here. I'm going to face this way. And we're going to come into Supta Gomukhasana, lying down Gomukhasana. So we're going to lie on our backs and let's cross the right leg over the left leg, okay? This is a challenge for many people and on this one. You're either going to clasp kind of around the shins here if we can, but if you can, you're going to clasp outer edges of both feet and you're going to think about, as I clasp outer edges of both feet, I think about drawing my feet kind of towards my heart but to the ground at the same time as I breathe into the release of both hips. Beautiful, so beautiful release of the outer hips. We're going to stay here a little bit longer. It's okay to close your eyes and really breathe into this. Gently release. Supta Gomukhasana, I love this. Cross the left leg over the right, and some of us will just clasp a hold of the shins, but if we can, I still awaken those arches, I clasp outer edges of the feet, and I draw my feet towards my heart, but also the ground at the same time, and I'm really releasing into both outer hips. The glute medius, our abductors, will stay here a while. Gently release. Beautiful. Rock it forward and back a few times. Coming into our frog pose. Mandukasana here. Frog pose. This is an internal rotation of the femur heads. We're going to take the hips in line with those knees. And look at my toes, they're in line with my knees. If it's, it's, if it's challenging, I might bring my feet in a little bit. But if I can, I'm trying to keep my feet in line with my knees and my feet rotated out. And as I do this, I press into the ground and I'm, it's really about these hips rotating internally in this beautiful pose here. And we're, I'm gonna come into it, I can come into a little bit fuller expression here. So I'm gonna, press into the ground and just kind of connect. I like to take my thumbs to my third eye here as I kind of tap into intuition and really release, trying to get the pelvis closer to the ground. Hips in line with the knees. Breathing into the many benefits of this posture. Frog pose. Mandukasana. We'll stay here a while.
gently release come out of this pose come into down dog bicycle those legs out beautiful Come into down dog again. We'll stay here a few breaths. Firm those thighs. Press them back and up. Draw the shoulder blades down the back ribs. Beautiful. Gently lower to the knees to the ground. We're going to prepare in a bridge, um, bridge pose. One of the beautiful parts of Setu Bandha Sarvangasana is we really engage the glute maximus, the lower glutes, okay? And in hip stability, we fire up the glutes a lot, right? And some of the postures that we've done today. And um, it's sometimes hard to activate those muscles in yoga. So some of the hip stability exercises do do, do that. They touch into that. We're gonna start with the feet about hip width apart. I like to rotate my big toes in slightly and I bring my heels close to the buttocks. Inhale, we're gonna draw length as we exhale, press into the ground in bridge pose. We can keep the hands by the hips here if that helps us. I want us to almost engage those lower big glutes. And if we can, we interlace those fingers and we come up high on the shoulders here. Think about drawing the sternum and chest close to the chin and the sacrum to the knees. Engage the lower glutes. This is an aspect of hip stability. Beautiful posture. We'll stay here a while. Gently lower one vertebrae at a time in bridge pose. Beautiful. Let's draw the knees towards one another. So they knock knee, give our spine a little bit of a break here. We'll stay here several breaths and we're going to do bridge one more time. Preparing for bridge, feet are hip distance apart, knees pointed up, rotate those big toes in just slightly. Inhale, draw length. Exhale, begin to press up. Beginners can have the hands by the hips, but if we can, we interlace those fingers. We come up high on the shoulders. Draw the sternum and chest close to the chin, but think about drawing the sacrum towards the knees. Keep the knees in line with the hips so they don't externally rotate here. Engage the lower glutes. Gently lower one vertebrae at a time. Draw that right leg up. Clasp outer edge of that right foot and extend that right leg to the side here. And I want you to kind of breathe into this release of the TFL, the IT bound, the outer hips here. And if we can, we're going to draw the left foot towards the ground right arm to the side gaze over the right shoulder nice 
and release the upper and middle back here. Gently release. Draw that left leg up. Either you take the strap if you need it, but if you can, clasp outer edge and begin to kind of shift over here to the right. Feel that release of the IT band, the TFL, as we come onto that right hip. Extend that left arm to the side. Press the left shoulder into the ground and breathe into that release of the upper and middle back. Gently release. Draw the knees towards one another. Extend the legs, extend those arms. Come into Shavasana here. Truly let everything go here. Just regenerate. Let everything go. Relax the palms. Relax the feet. And maybe kind of nestle the shoulders into the mat as we truly let everything go.
preparing to come out of our Shavasana, little movements in your fingers and toes. Gently bend the knees, right arm over the head. Use the left hand to press yourself up. Draw the arms up, heart centered. We did a lot to cultivate strength and hip stability today. Beautiful work within, but an opportunity we had to reflect within how to build strength within and the power of building strength within ourselves, within our muscles, within the breath, within the postures, and then how we go out in the world and manage stress and manage anxiety and deal with the challenges that come our way. The light in me recognizes the light in you. Namaste.